All right, so now we need to write one sentence from paragraph two that supports your answer. So whichever option you chose here, you need to give me a uh, sentence that explains why, or maybe um, something they talked about in paragraph two that supports it. So say you picked um, A, people need water to live. Well, you need to give me a sentence that tells me why people need water to live. So you're just supporting that with evidence. And you can find that in the same paragraph, um, paragraph two. Number two, which important point is in both articles? So this is a comparing question. Which article, which one of these um, choices is appears in both articles? A, water comes from oceans. B, there will always be enough clean water. C, we must protect our water. Or D, ships dump garbage into lakes. Which one of these options was um, talked about in both articles? So we're telling a similarity. Number three, which important point is in fresh water, but not in turn on the tap. So which one of these choices appears in this article, but does not appear in the first article we read? A, we should use water carefully. B, water is cleaned to make it safe to drink. C, people put harmful things into water. Or D, everyone can help keep water safe. Number four, circle three things. You're going to circle three choices. Um, circle three things from the list below that the author of fresh water says we can do to keep our water pure. So in this second article, what are three things he says? And you can find that in paragraph four that he says to um, how we can keep water pure. A, don't throw garbage into rigs, rivers and lakes. B, don't leave the tap running when you don't need to. C, only drink water from the tap. D, close down factories that send dirty water into rivers. Or E, take shorter showers. So which three options did the author talk about in fresh water to keep our water pure? And once you are done with that, we'll go ahead and go down to our Venn diagram. Use the Venn diagram below to organize your ideas. So. What were some things they talked about turn on the tap that they didn't talk about fresh water? And what were some things in fresh water that they didn't talk about and turn on the tap? So what were your differences? And then what was the similarity? What did they talk about in both of the articles? And once you have done that, you can use the information from your Venn diagram to describe how the two articles are alike and how they are different. So you might start by saying the two articles are alike because what types of things did they talk about? And then you could also say the two articles are different because, and then what were some of the differences? You can get all of that information for this writing from your Venn diagram that you will do right before it.